Hi, I'm Noli Sudario. Guys, I want, I just want to share you this. Uh, this is how I make the curtain wall panel, unitized panel of the of the heart shaped curtain wall uh, diamond shaped curtain wall that I made this is the diamond shaped curtain wall as we zoom here as you can see it's a diamond shaped curtain wall when we go to the proposed elevation as you can see it's a diamond shape it's in the East elevation, East general elevation, wall type 1. This is their proposed elevation. When we go to the elevation SA2 of the proposed elevation, you can see this, a, as you can see, this they have this unitized panel. Panel 1, panel 2, panel 3, panel 4. The panel, the panel is the same as this one. And the panel of this one is the same as this one. So in our repeat model, repeat beam models, uh, I name it curtain wall CW, SER1 as the unitized panel. Uh, let's go to the east layout of the diamond shaped curtain wall guys here as you can see I make the panels of the heart shape curtain wall and I tag it as CW01 CW02 CW03 CW04 when you click the first panel it will highlight all the parts on it is in CW01 so we're going to if you want to see the every publication every parts of CW01 let's go to the CW01 sheet CW01 sheet as you can see here in the side CW01 sheet what we have here is a CW1 elevation also we can uh, put the plants here and the section here but it's not, it's not in the standard if you have your company standard I can make it also guys uh, because every detail is here CW01 as you can see you have the elevation detail A when you click the detail A there's the detail A section detail A section detail B and the back bottom the front left tough plan detail this plan detail you can put it in our CW01 sheet but I just put the elevation and the 3D ortho also guys this is a very unique parametric sheet as you can see I put uh, the same SP08-02 in the bottom of the just to add a two pieces of SP-02 SP-08-02 in the bottom a two piece bottom when you see here in our table SP-08-2 transom shas is a battery we have a three pieces SP-08-02 
dash o eight. When we go inside our assembly, unit assembly, we can edit it. Guys, look at the 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 count of this sp dash o four dash s transform or the shas bar. You can edit it and you can delete it just to show you guys that this is a parametric sheet and click finish it's automatically been deducted on our table this is a real parametric uh, uh, sheet every parts are going every unique families that you're going to add in this sheet in this uh, CW1 panels it's going to put the table will automatically uh, add it every parts screws glass or if you have a, a spandrel glass here or a curtain uh, or a vision glass here or a cladding it will automatically be listed here in our parts list all the screws that you're going to put or the bolts nuts it's going to be listed here in our parts list the length and the count or and the description this is how I make the Unitized funnel, curtain wall funnel per elevation. So when we go to the callout, CW01, we have the uh, panels, a uh, unitized panel part list. Also, guys, I just want to show you. If you want, this uh, they ask me many technical managers that uh, that consult me how to do this. They ask me your your system is. Uh, they said to me that my system is is slow. No, guys, my system is not slow. You're using in your in your process. You're use Python. ADA, uh, other programs like Python, ADA, and IPI that make panels. But your panels is not like this. You don't have a a 3D models, guys. And this model is, as I show you last earlier, this model is a unique model because when you click my my Unitize panel. Every parts of it have a, have has its own drawing. When you click this one, this this one a this a this is a unique families. As you as you can see, guys. Look at this. Let's look zoom at this. Let's zoom at this. It's as a profile. In ADA in Python, you only have a program, but don't have a drawing. In my drawing, I can match it. Many technical managers tell me that they can do this, but I bet they can't. Guys, look, I can easily match the profiles based on the requirements on your requirements look guys it's a 3d it's a section profile ADA in Python can't do this all the beam uh, modelers and managers they just doing the the program of Python but they can match the profiles like this from this publication, 
I also can make a repeat fabrication, not an inventor, not in inventor, software inventor. I can make a unitized panel and a and also a fabrication drawing, fabrication, production, manufacturing drawings in repeat. It's much faster, guys. Look, is this is a 3D, and it has an angle notch. Look at the notch, guys. It's it's been angled based on the requirements. Let's go back to the elevation. On our elevation callouts, as you can see, guys, we have four kinds of funnels. So, if you want to, if you have a project and you want to do this kind of process, just uh, message me in nsudario3 at yahoo.com or my whatsapp number is 0908-421-9096 guys there's all the technical managers and the CEO the directors that has been calling me and chatting with me this is the right process guys of doing the your B models in Revit. You don't need any IPI. You don't need any Python or any programs. They, the the modelers that you get, they uh, they don't know how to do this in Revit because they changing the changing they changing the game to programming. They don't have a drawing like this, guys. They don't know how to do this. If you if you know how to do this, you're not ex you are an expert in Autodesk Revit. I bet you guys they don't know how to do this. There's no internet in the World Wide Web. There's no video like this. This is all m my videos. This is my process, guys. How how to do a pasad. 13 wall in repeat. Uh, that's all, guys. Thank you for. I just want to share it. Thank you for listening to my process. Thank you and goodbye.